Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 28th to November 3rd, a 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the Libra's topic of the week, that is to be the Page of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that Libra needs to face throughout the week, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week for Libra, that is to be the Three of Wands, and the last one here, which stands for the guidance that uh, it's advisable, you know, Libra to follow throughout the week, that is to be the uh, Queen of Swords. All right, so we do have a person that your week is going to revolve around, and that is going to be the Page of Cups, accompanied or catalyzed by the Star card. So we do have an, a passive neutrals in this case, and the page always the page of cups when it comes to a person it is a always a, a change bringer from a point of that um how can i say it at the very least guys this person helps you to kind of attend more to the overview rather than to be uh focused on the minor and the irritating details but what part what what role that person is going to play into your life libra it is that is going to make you reassess your positions your current positions your actions where you're going to what you are fighting for you know uh how you stand in general so <clears throat> you can kind of obtain a a better or a bigger i would say a, a bigger perspective of one's life now that could be suitor could be, it could be co-worker it could be boss it could be friend it doesn't really matter what matters here is that this person loves you in any way okay it could be friendship love it could be parental love it could be as well your child that loves you and kind of makes you see the future in a much more wild, wider perspective which makes you to start thinking of two moves ahead four moves ahead and an ear ahead and so on and so forth and by doing so you are to be able to foresee a unnecessary actions that you need to do a performance if you will uh, not performance preparations if you will for a, a change that it is a looming on the horizon important thing to be said here is that you need to know that this person if not emotionally connected with you that is they are feeling very deprived right they are feeling very miserable so it's very well could be a, a suitor, it could be as well your girlfriend or a boyfriend. Now, because the star card it is in a neutral to the page, it kind of points to the vagueness of the end goal. Vagueness in the sense of that 
the uh, there is no um limits set on the end goal that end goal could go a a long run it may not go a long run as well and that's why it's important throughout the week you know to make a a clear it's not demands it's more like uh yeah it's to make clear and determinate and determined preparations for the um for the changing aspect that this overview which you are going to have upon your future is going to di dictate once again through the overview of the future that you're going to um, obtain you are to forewarn yourself for a looming change that it is coming on for a change that it is a looming on the horizon uh it's important as well to acknowledge here that uh the page is not going to help you very much i mean they're going to be next to you but their performance will be somewhat futile so the most of the heavy lifting it is that you need to make throughout the week and that is to be the challenge itself now we do have the uh, eight of pentacles and it is accompanied with the seven of cups so we do have an, a passive friends in this uh, particular position and uh, it's kind of a, a peculiar uh, combination actually because um, uh, first of all it kind of touches on the reluctancy you to invest in a long-term goal with that page for the solo reason that you will have to be the one who does the heavy lifting. You know, you are um, kind of dating with someone and you need to do the heavy lifting in these datings or um, you are opening a business with someone and you have to make the heavy lifting into this business, not because the page doesn't want to, but because they can't, all right? Whatever they try to do, it's kind of face a, a wall. It's, it's a futile effort. And for that reason, you know, you may kind of become a, a skeptical of how fruitful and how, you know, productive the whole thing is going to be. Is this going to end up in a serious commitment? You know, is this going to end up in a lucrative business and etc. etc. But that is going to be the challenging thoughts that you need to overcome because with these two cards here, the page, the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups, should you attend to the... Um, to the subtleties of the uh, of the situation and should you start performing upon the plan that it is developing right now a long-term plan that it is developing right now and accept that um the current perspective could be a fantasy yes but it could be as well a seed growing you know that yet remains to be decided and once again what decides it well it decides your, your preparation decides it so you make your preparation right and then you kind of harvest the yields that the preparation is going to give you moving forward into the future. <clears throat> and uh, the positive uh, aspect here, that is to be the uh, tree of wands, is going to be catalyzed here by the page of swords. So first of all, uh, this is a, an active friend that we do have in this position. And uh, it does point that you currently are sitting on a, a very well-established patterns, okay? So that being said, you can be proud of what you are in, in regards to this endeavor. If that's relationship, you can be proud of yourself, okay? Of how you look, of how you tackle with people around, of, of uh, in general, you know, of your performance in relationship. Same thing goes into your career. But the thing is that right now, there is no more improvement that you can achieve into your current environment, into your current, um, how can I say, in, in, into your a current strafe and for that reason you need to make those preparations for the change that it is looming on the horizon now with the uh, page of swords here to the tree of wands it does look like that you're gonna come to some brilliant it's not even an insight but let's say brilliant thoughts of how to push things through of how to make your life dappled with glee and joy you know and, and varieties of other experiences and so on and so forth to a point where Libra, you are actually going to understand that you can challenge not just only yourself but the fate as well to challenge 
ch to challenge it to give you even more so that being said these positive the positive aspect simply says that this looming change on the horizon it is your ship that you need to board toward a new land for you to conquer it's as simply uh it's as simply as that and finally these two cards at the end it kind of made points to some sort of a spring cleaning you know cleaning those kind of people or um enterprises activities that you no longer need as this change now as this new thing it is a looming on the horizon and the last card for you libra is to be the uh, queen of swords here that is the guidance accompanied with the two of pentacles and oh my god look at that so these two cards are pointing that you are uh, although you will have to do the heavy lifting that gives you the power of control so whatever you say goes it's as simple as that you do the heavy lifting you dictate the rules of the mutual situation that goes in between you and the page of cups like said either your suitor co-worker business partner child and so on and so forth no different than for example your child says mommy mommy or daddy daddy i want to go or i want a uh, gaming console all right and you say all right i'm gonna buy you a gaming console but you have you better show a good grades at school and that is going to be a, a big motivation for the child to really start studying okay you exert control by taking on these new circumstances by challenging the circumstances challenging yourself as well because neither parent is really thrilled to spend money on a gaming console isn't it and it's a challenging thing to do but in the same but you can use it as a leverage this is what i am trying to do you do the heavy lifting and you use that heavy lifting as a challenging thing uh, that same thing could be um said about relationship right now i don't know what kind of example to give you but you know um your partner wants to move in with you your partner moves in into your house and you pretty much give it to understand that your house your rules right and you start dictating the rules my point here is that through the heavy lifting you can establish the concepts of the future that it is behold in between you and the page of cups and again that's a guidance so you can but you may not all right so do not show a mild or standpoint in regards to it but actually demand what you are working for if i may express myself that way so that being said libra this was your weekly tarot reading october 28th to november 3rd 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye